I am, let's see, uh, about 48 hours away from leaving to go on my annual elk hunting trip. I'm doing this video because I want to show you guys how revolutionary this new sight system is uh, for muzzleloaders. Prepping for this muzzleloader hunt out in Colorado, uh, we've been, I've been shooting, you know, two or three times a week. I'm feeling really good, actually. Um, last night I shot a pop can at 150 yards with open sights. Um, took two shots to do it. I did shoot uh, the pop can at 100 yards as well. So I'm feeling really good. That's with open sights. That's with no modification to my muzzleloader at all. Um, I did read a review on something called the Williams Precision uh, Muzzle Loading Sight. This is a advancement that is still legal in Colorado and other western states. It has no fiber optics, no magnification. It's a peep sight and then has uh, a different kind of reticle at the end. They, it's thinner than your typical um, fiber optics and it supposedly makes it to where you're more accurate at distance. So, you know, here I am nine days away. I'm pretty good with my muzzle loader, but I'm thinking about taking my sights off and starting over with this thing. I don't know. Uh, it's made in the USA. It's made by a company called Williams Gunsight Company. They were super helpful, helped me get this thing fast. And I'm gonna see about putting it on here in a little bit. I'll do detail that process. It's, it's supposed to be only two screws to get it on. You're gonna have a forward sight that is closer to you than the, the, the peep is gonna be closer than uh, what you're used to. And then, the, and then the rear sight, instead of it being just a dot, it's gonna have a reticle on it. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I'll get it put together here in a little bit. We'll see how it does. So these are the different reticle options that you have for your front sight. So this one is a little BDC reticle, a little a real fine reticle. This one's got a BDC look to it. So I think I kind of like this one. It's very thin. It gives you that couple of different aiming points. So I think it's probably the one I'm going to go with. But pretty cool. Pretty cool setup. So this is, when you put it in the front sight, that's the look you're gonna get. It's very easy, it slides, there's a groove on either side. One is a little larger, one's a little smaller, and these just kind of slip right into place. Pretty interesting, nice little setup. Very fine crosshairs, so and like I said, this is the front sight, which is interesting. I mean, that's totally backwards from what you're used to, but very cool. So it comes with just, uh, it comes with a couple of different screws. So you got to find the right screw that fits your needs, which I believe I did. It does recommend a little bit of uh, Loctite, so I'm going to use some of that here in a second. I'm going to make sure I've got the right screw size. Looks like the right deal there. And then see this will go on to this and locks down like so. So that's your peep.
So, pretty slick. All right, so we're gonna take off this rear sight now, or yeah, the front sight. There we go. Easy peasy. So now this will go on like so with one screw. First thing about this setup that I absolutely love is the Williams gun sight was super easy to put on. You literally have to put, uh, take out two screws and then, so this attaches with one screw. This end piece screws off. You put the reticle that you want inside. It slides into this. There's a groove. One side has a bigger, like a bigger groove. One side has a smaller groove. So the, the reticles, they slide inside. This screws on, which tightens in. Your front side's ready to go. The, the screw is right inside there. It is a uh, flathead. One piece of advice that I would give you is make sure that you have a screwdriver that is long enough and skinny enough to get in this hole before you go, um, you know, trying to, trying to attach this. Uh, luckily, I was over here at my shop when I did this, and my first screwdriver was small enough to fit in here, or fit the, fit the head of the screw, but it was too big around to fit through this little hole. Uh, I already had thread sealant on the, the screw, and so I really needed to get it tightened down as quick as possible. But luckily, I was over here at the shop where I have a multitude of screwdrivers, found one pretty quick, got it screwed on. So make sure that you have a screwdriver that is small enough to, to, to uh, fit this uh, diameter. Down here at the other end, we have our peep. The peep is uh, also one screw. It adjusts both uh, laterally and vertically. So if, if you don't know how this works, um, to adjust down, so if you want your bullet to be impacting further down, you need to drop your sight back this way, which is going to make you point your barrel that way to line up with your reticle. If you want to impact higher on the target, you're going to push this upwards, which is gonna cause you to tilt your barrel up. So this adjusts uh, by loosening one screw and sliding it up and down the ramp. And then laterally, you adjust laterally by this top screw right there. You unscrew it and you move it to the left or to the right based on the direction that you want your uh, bullet to impact. So if you're hitting to the left, you would move right. And if you're hitting to the right, you would move left. So it's very, very thin and it doesn't obstruct the target at distance. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, at 200 yards with a regular fiber optic sight, the sight itself almost covers the entire target, so it makes it hard to be accurate. All right, guys, so I just took a shot at 100 yards. I'm gonna walk down here and see where she lie. So this gun, um, it's a 50 caliber Thompson Center. I'm shooting um, 90 grains of Blackhorn 209, and I'm shooting a 295 grain power belt. That setup is legal for Colorado. Colorado is a very restrictive state when it comes to what you can use for muzzle loaders. You cannot use Pyrodex pellets. Uh, you cannot use scopes or magnification. Uh, you can use Blackhorn, which is, I think, better than Pyrodex anyway. Uh, power belts, which uh, you cannot use sabots, but you can use power belts, and I really like the power belts. I'm telling you right now, I can see where I hit, and I like that too. So, this is a 100-yard shot, open sights with a muzzle loader. 
and we are ding 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 it's pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move back to uh, 150 I'll put a couple of bullets at 150 and then i'm gonna shoot a group probably at 200 and see what it does at 200. all right guys so i just took my first shot at 150 yards and it also is super sweet boom so 100 yards 150 cannot beat that all right guys i wanted to recap for you so 100 yards 150 yards these two right here 200 yards so you know this is uh the right height i'm about probably 10 inches from center you know the kill zone on an elk is 18 inches i mean it's a big kill zone I'm pretty, I'm pretty comfortable with this at 200. You know, I doubt that I will be taking a 200 yard shot, but in the event that I do, I feel pretty confident that I'm still gonna be able to make a killing shot. So I've shot this thing several times now. I am dead on at 100, I'm dead on at 150, and I'm within the kill zone at 200. So, very pleased with it. Final observations is not one thumbs up, but two thumbs up. Get you a Williams, Precision muzzle loading sight if you're going to be out west hunting in a place where you can't use optics Super pleased. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up get it packaged up and uh, in 48 hours. I'm gonna be heading to Colorado